Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. At the end of the last episode we've just um, gone over to deal with an iron supply shortage um, that we'd sp spotted during the battle to take control of a large area of uh, space for some blue circuit production. So now we're going to head back up there and, and carry on with it. Alright, put all those robots in the, uh, in the construction vehicle. I wonder how many it's got now. It's got 83 of the new ones plus another 33 of the old ones. That's not too bad. It's, it's it's nearly up to capacity. It can take a few more, sort of 25 more than that, I think. Um, but still, it's uh, it's pretty good. It's most mostly mostly full. Right here we are back at the front. <clears throat> so what we see here is there's um, a nest there, quite a big one, multiple multiple colours. Right in the middle of my of where I'm trying to advance, so I think I'm going to put in a defensive line. Is that a defensive line? No, that's a station. <laughs> defensive line, one of them, like that, and belt to arm them like that. Uh oh, I'm in range. I'm closer than I thought. Open fire! Not at them. Further up. How could I say? Shoot the, shoot the worm. <laughs> Thank you. Jeez, need to get a turret about there. Boom. And pull it back up again, and carry on as normal. This is going to be a bit harder, of course, because there's lots of ammunition in the turrets. And they're not doing too badly. Looks fairly safe up here. <laughs> it looks like this um, fusion reactor is capable of chucking out power much faster than, ever, than these are using it. Max consumption 4, 8, 12, 50... Yeah, okay, <laughs> it is definitely capable of producing power much faster than the robot ports use it. That's good. No need to worry about running out of energy. Someone fill that obnoxious little gap in there, please. There we go. <laughs> okay, looks like it's time to establish another front line. It's the range on that worm. I don't know. Oh, no. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. Let's uh, see if we can wake up those. No, those ones are out of range. I do. Yeah, I've left some gaps now in my uh, plasma co turret coverage. Although if I rotate this one, if this one down here, if I rotate it, then it's going to cover most of that gap. So I think I'll do that. Where was it? There it is. How's that? Yeah, okay. So there's a bit of a gap from coverage in this inside this forest. But then I don't think there's much that's going to attack from here. That said, in an attempt to keep it safe, I'm going to put another plasma turret in here. The main concern really is that I'm going to run out of plasma turrets at some point. Pull that up. I'll take those up myself. I'll take the guns myself, because it's easier. Quicker, anyway. Oop, they're quite close. Am I going to be able to get away with this? No, probably not. Maybe. I just don't really want the bots to get their attention too much. Okay, let's have a firing line in here. Like so. And get ready with the plasma. If I put that down here, it won't have the range. If I put it up here, it might attract the wrong sort of attention. <laughs> not bad, and we're nearly there. Here's the... um. Here's the lake I was aiming for. Now I'm aware that end points tend to be weak points, so I'm going to put in more guns at the top here, just to keep the whole thing defended properly. Now the other thing I need to have along here, of course, is radar, so I can keep an eye on this area. Do I have radar? Is radar a thing I'm carrying with me? Yes, excellent. And the radar 2 is even better. So in one swoop, yeah, I'm only going to need to put, put down two of these along this fence, and then one, two, maybe three along the top. That's good. Right. That's quite. That's been quite good. I've built so. That's the wall built all the way up along here with plasma defences nearly everywhere. There's a bit of a gap here, but uh, th I don't think that's really a problem. There's still normal gun turrets there, and I suppose it depends. There's, there's quite a big nest there. Maybe I should go down and put a turret in a plasma turret in there. I've overdone here a little bit, so let's take one of these out. And there's some um, mineral water. I forget what it's called. That stuff anyway. It comes out the fissures. So yeah, I think I'll head back down. I'll put in another plasma turret here and a radar in somewhere around here. And then I guess I need to come back up and start building this wall across here. Now, depending on how it goes, I may build it just across to here and then down onto this lake. Or I might just claim this whole area uh, just to get it all, well, claimed. Let's have a look. Let's uh, get, the first, get the radar in first though. And I can make this lane through the uh, trees a bit wider as well while as I go. Just in case I come back this way in a car, which isn't quite so good at taking the trees out. Right, where was that? Okay, this is exactly where the uh, weak spot in the defences was. So put that in there. And the radar, I shall need to put 
well, actually, it doesn't really matter. There's enough overlap. Here, we'll do. Bloop. Nice. That's a lot of coverage. Okay, so we've got a corner piece here that's got the heavier defences going on. As it should be. I think we're now going to need another strip of that vertically in order to get defense in order to defend against this nest. So let's put this about here, I think. And we can have one of them and get some plasma down. Oh, we're not actually close enough. <laughs> oh well that's good defences for when this inevitably happens. Wow, that massive blue one took a plasma bolt straight to the face and kept coming. Those things are ridiculously tough. Titan biter. Okay. That would explain why it seems to be um, quite tough. <laughs> Am I going to need to find some sort of Mark II plasma turrets at some point? It's interesting how much tough, how the biters are, s are so much tougher than any of the buildings they create, for want of a better word. The, uh, the, um, the worms and the spawners. And every, every single building has been taken out with a single shot. But a lot of the biters, especially those big titans in the middle, they can take a couple before they collapse. Kind of ridiculous. <laughs> oh, uh oh. That spitter's still in range. There we go. No, I've not quite got the range to take out that. It's a tiny one, though. It seems almost silly to leave it. <laughs> Alright, let's head back over there and take that one out. Oh, I used the wrong um, blueprint and I've made them just to put a massive yellow belt all the way across here. I'm actually quite surprised I don't have any yellow belts. That was going to be my backup plan for when I run out of greys. And I've just run my combat thing into the middle of a biter base. That's not ideal. <laughs> I'll just have to be a little bit careful as we go in there. Okay, so this up here is nonsense. I don't want to have enemies this close to my... Uh, an enemy base this small, this close to my front line. That's just silly. Is that the lot? Yes. And there's no way any more can come across there as well, so that's good. That one. And that one. Oh, what? Okay, that's still a bit further than I'm comfortable with. <laughs> I'm worried those bots are going to get noticed. Oh no, they're just, just about okay. <laughs> Let's get those turrets alive at least. And then we'll build another one of these. Oh, we've been spotted. <laughs> and my defences aren't quite ready yet. Put those turrets down. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no, don't drive any further. They'll bots will try and lay stuff. Is that the right one or is that yellow still? No, I think that's the right one. Yeah. Okay, I've now run out of belts. Um, like, almost completely. But I've set using these yellow ones that I've got in my pockets. Um, and maybe not build quite up that close to the enemy yet. Right, okay, where am I now? Okay, that's a good, maybe a... Th Third, yeah, it's a third of the way for the sort of, or nah, it's a bit more than a third of the way for the uh, sort of minimum I was going to do, which is to about here. Um, and as it's going, um, it's going quite well. I could carry on all the way over to here and join it up with this um, this wall over here. And in fact, I may well do that. Uh, but I've been going for a while now, and whilst this is going to be pretty a pretty quick episode, I think, because of the um, amount of speed up I'm going to be able to do, because I was just doing a lot of talking about it. Um, I think it's ne nevertheless it's probably going to be a, a good time to split it. So, I mean, how do you how do you guys feel about um, combat episodes compared to um, building ones? Are they, are they just still still interesting? Is that a, have you enjoy, have enjoyed watching me going out and taking bringing freedom to the alien menace? Uh, yeah, do let me know in the comments. And um, well, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Now for the nice leisurely drive back to the base to restock on uh, belt belts and other such things. Let's fill in these gaps though. <laughs>